All right, if you've had PCOS for a while or you've been doing your Googling research, you know that insulin resistance is a big deal or a root cause when it comes to most of our PCOS symptoms. So I wanna quickly talk about what we know about how exercise can reduce insulin resistance. And then I also wanna go back and talk to you about why insulin resistance matters for those of us living with PCOS. So um, there definitely needs to be more research done on reducing insulin resistance in women living with PCOS. Um, surprise, surprise. There just needs to be more research done, period, on PCOS. Um, but here's what we do know. It seems pretty clear that vigorous cardio, so more intense cardio, does a better job of reducing insulin resistance. Um, HIIT, high intensity interval training, is one really popular method of intense style cardio um, for PCOS. And I will um, share a link to you with more information about HIIT for PCOS right here. Um, but it's not the only method of vigorous cardio. So vigorous cardio is defined as um, exercise that raises your heart rate, gets you breathing heavy so that you can't chit chat, watch TV or read a book while you're working out. Um, we also know that in type two diabetics who have a similar type of insulin resistance to those of us who have PCOS, um, strength training is a very effective way of reducing your insulin resistance. And in fact, um, it's recommended by a lot of metabolic endocrinologists to women with PCOS because they believe there's probably a strong correlation there, even though we don't have a lot of research yet to back it up. Also, a recent study has suggested that when you um, work out, you change your gene expression. And since PCOS has a genetic link, um, there's actually a way that when you exercise, you change your um, the way your body expresses your PCOS insulin resistance genes. You're fundamentally kind of changing the way your body operates when you work out as far as PCOS insulin resistance goes. So um, based on that information and uh, my experience coaching women with PCOS now for about nine years, I recommend a combination of some intense cardio and strength training as your best bet for lowering your insulin resistance. Now, insulin resistance affects overweight and lean women with PCOS alike. Um, just because you haven't had a medical diagnosis where you've tested into insulin resistance, if you have PCOS, I would encourage you to work out and live and eat in such a way that you are trying to prevent insulin resistance because there is something about our genetic makeup that makes us very vulnerable to insulin resistance, type 2 diabetes, and gestational diabetes, which is um, diabetes that happens when you become pregnant. So um, even if you're lean, don't have trouble with belly fat, don't have trouble with blood sugar, I would think about adjusting my workout and lifestyle to pre prevent insulin resistance. That's what I do, even though um, I have no signs of insulin resistance um, at all. So um, I hope that's helpful for you. If you are confused about these guidelines or you have more questions, you can leave them in the comments below. Also, if you are looking for an opportunity to start working out, I do have an online self-paced home workout program that you can learn more about in the comments. And um, please subscribe because there has been some interesting research done on PCOS and exercise, and I will be sharing it over the uh, next few months. Plus, there might be some new workouts coming your way too, free on YouTube.